Hey guys, welcome back to NextGen Blogger and in this video, I want to show you how you can combine the perspective effect and the movement object to create something new out of it in VHDC Free Video Editor. So we are back with combining multiple effects in VHDC and today we will combine the perspective effect and the movement object. So without further delay, let's get started. Now to demonstrate this tutorial, I will be using the text object. So go to add object, go to text, click on text and click on OK. Now write some text on top of your screen. So let me just write the text. Let's say next gen blogger, which is the name of my YouTube channel. And let me just also center align my text like this. Perfect. Now the next thing which I would like to do is I would like to add some border around my text. And the best way to do that normally is to double click on the text object and go to video effects, go to transparency and select borders. But I don't want to go through this route because I want my border to be separate from my text. And so for that purpose, I would be creating another text object in the editing timeline. So currently there is just one text object and I've written the text next gen blogger. So go to add object, go to text, click on text and click on OK. And uh, as you can see, I've created another text object. But inside this text object, I will not write any text. Instead, I will double click on the text object and then go to video effects, go to transparency, select borders and click on OK. Now look inside the border settings which is present inside the properties window and inside mode as you can see currently transparent is selected and that is the reason you don't see any border appearing on the screen. So click on this drop down list and select solid and uh, also the border size is just 8. So increase the border size from 8 to 25 and as you can see a border is visible. Now resize the border to fit it around the text like this and perfect. So half our job is done and now let's just go back to the editing timeline and let's just first of all double click on the um, double click on the first text object which we created which contains just this text next gen blogger and I would like to add some movement to my text and what I would really like to do is I would like my text to move from left hand side to the center of the screen all right so let me just zoom out a little bit and let me just place my text on the left hand side like this perfect and let me just go to add object. Let me just go to movement. Let me just select movement and let me just click on OK and place your cursor on the starting point and drag it till the end point where you want. That's it. And um, currently the duration of my movement object is 10 seconds which is the entire duration of my text. So decrease the duration by moving the end point from 10 seconds to 500 milliseconds. All right. And uh, that's it. So now if I just zoom in and if I just play the video for you, as you can see, my text move from left hand side to the center of the screen. So this is the first thing. Now just double click on the second text object which we created which contains this border and uh, what I would like to do with the border is that I would like to move it from the right hand side to the center of the screen. All right. So my text is moving from the left hand side to the center of the screen and my border will move from the right hand side to the center of the screen. So drag your border right here like this and um, and go to add object go to movement click on movement and click on ok and it's the same thing 
drag the border from the uh, starting point till the end point where you want like this and uh, again the duration of my movement object in my second text object which contains the border is 10 seconds so decrease it from 10 seconds to 500 milliseconds once again all right and let me just decrease it to 500 milliseconds and that's it so again let me just zoom in and if i just quickly play the whole video for you so my text is moving from the left hand side to the center of the screen and my and the border around my text is moving from the right hand side to the center of the screen so we just need to adjust our border a little bit so let me just zoom out once again and let me just um, let me just just a second let me just delete this and let me just add let me just place it properly so that it fits in the center like this perfect and now once again let me just go to add object go to movement click on movement and click on ok and drag the border from the left hand side to the center of the screen like this and um, decrease the duration of the movement object from 10 seconds from 10 seconds to 500 milliseconds from 10 seconds to 500 milliseconds just a second perfect now let's just see if everything is working perfectly so here is my text and here is my uh, border around the text perfect now what i would like to do is after my border um, moves in from the right hand side to the center of the screen i would like to apply the perspective effect so my perspective effect will apply from exactly uh, 500 milliseconds and um, it will be really quick so go to video effects go to transforms select perspective and click on ok uh, decrease the duration of the perspective effect from 9 second millisecond 9 second 500 millisecond to just 250 milliseconds so really quick and uh, change this from constant parameter value to linear parameter change so that we get two values and fill in the values um, 0 and 90 degrees perfect so 0 and 90 fill those values inside the perspective angle similarly let me just bring this to um, to the time 500 milliseconds and um, let me sorry not 500 milliseconds but 766 milliseconds yeah 766 milliseconds and go to video effects go to um, transforms select perspective once again and click on ok and again um, decrease the duration of the perspective effect from from 9 second to 33 milliseconds to simply to 66 milliseconds like this and um, inside the second perspective effect which you added what you need to do is in the first perspective effect the values were 0 and 90 degrees in the second perspective effect the values will be uh, minus 90 minus 90 and 0 and that's it so now if I just play the whole video for you from the start here is my text here is my uh, border and my border did a, uh, did a flip because of the perspective effect and finally i would like to add some video to all this thing so let me just import my um, asteroid example asteroid demo video and um, let me just go to downloads and um, i have my video right here titled asteroid 
that's it and let me just quickly open that in the editor and let me just place it below right here and again if I just quickly play the whole video for you from the start just a second that's it so this is my text this is the border around the text and the border um, border did a flip because of the perspective effect and on the background I have the asteroid video playing up so this is how you can actually combine the perspective effect and the movement object in VSCC free video editor play around this options you can actually do a lot of other things I just showed you one sample do share with me your thoughts in the comment section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see you in the next video till then thanks for watching